Hello everyone. I think most of you saw my modifications of Proxon MF70. And quite often I hear from you in the comments that uh, I have significant uh, loss of power on the engine on this machine. And no, it's not broken. I want to do one more modification. So the thing is that uh, I'm usually running this engine on very low RPM for... Uh, it's made for run faster. And when I'm running it low, uh, then it almost doesn't have a torque. So I, I could stop the engine with hands with the speed I'm running. So that's, that's not uh, really good. Uh, in the original configuration I have a belt here and the pulley for the engine over there. So it's located somewhere, something like that. And on top of it, I have the electronics, part with the electronics. I want to add to the construction these two gears. Uh, this will reduce the speed of the spindle uh, to almost uh, three times, comparing to what I have at the moment. And uh, I could run then the engine on almost uh, full RPM with much higher torque. Uh, I would think a lot how I could locate everything in this tiny construction of the Proxon under this head. Um, I still want to have a beautiful view of the machine. So not like uh, all the electronics is just popping out uh, from the machine. I want to use smaller belt like this one, then I'll locate the pulley together with the uh, big gear somewhere over here. And then I'm still will have the place for the engine over here. So the construction will be something like this, the big gear, the pulley on the one side and the pinion with the engine on another side. Uh, to make all of this, I will need uh, to make the holder for the pulley and the gear, um, connect it to the frame, to this frame, make it a little bit movable to change the retention of a belt, <coughs> that it's not static, uh, and the same with the engine over here. The mount engine over here, here I have these uh, controls, but uh, they should be okay. To mount the engine there, I will need to continue modify the Proxon head. So I will need to trim out completely this uh, um, holder for the screw, but I will still have enough of holders, so all the plates should be mounted quite stiff. Uh, and then engine should fit over here. If it will not, then I will take a look on this uh, electronical parts. Maybe I could move them somewhere still or uh, move the gear a little bit si uh, to the side. Uh, so I will start with two things. making the holder for these two gears together that they hold together and that they that I could mount them uh, on some rotating shaft and trimming out this part inside I'm starting with roughly cutting the 40 millimeter stock so there's something like that I need to Make so let's go on. I'll start with this one.
the inner part of the gear I have uh, 30 point five so here I should have something similar okay I need I need to uh, remove one tenth then will be uh, two on the minus and it will be good so one tenth it's something like this Let's go. Let's double check it. Okay, five and a minus. So it should be good. Now it should be good. But I will double check with the gear. Okay, it fits perfectly. Now the sides. First side, uh, 32 millimeters from here, seven millimeters wide. So I need to cut quite a lot. And some uh, here. Now again with the cutter. Now again marking with the cutter. So 32, it's almost on the end of the blue. These dimensions shouldn't, could be not super accurate. So I'm doing something like that. Now I have to change the cutter. With this one I could not cut any more deep because I will catch the tupper. this one I have nine millimeters and I couldn't cut uh, deeper from the beginning uh, because here is uh, floating center so what I will do I will do a small row over here with the row cutter and from over there so from over here I will cut to the dimensions I need I need this shaft uh, near uh, 25 millimeters long so it should be okay Next thing, uh, from here, five millimeters, and then I need to reduce the shaft to five millimeters. At the moment, it's uh, seven and uh, a little bit. Uh, and on the five millimeters part, their bearings will be located.
Let's check it. Okay, dimensions exactly like I need. Uh, 200 and one minus. Here should be quite similar. Maybe a little bit more. Okay, here is the similar. So that's it. I need to move over here and cut the similar shaft from over here. Maybe it's a stupid what I'm doing <laughs> because actually it's definitely more possible to do in another way, but I decided to do this way. A lot of steel used, but okay, happens. Now I will change the cutter one more time and go this side until I can with just a normal cutter. And then we'll continue with this one to the desired dimensions. And here it is. So I have exactly five. I have exactly five millimeters. Should be good. Now last two things cut out over here and cut out over here. Also with the same cutter, I'll try to do it from over here.
here it is hopefully it will work of course it's not <laughs> but we'll see we'll see how it goes so here will be two bearings here will be, here will be pulley for the belt the first part is done now a million of other parts the first one piece done as you can saw so this gear will go over here pretty tight fit as it should then this one pulley goes here it's also pretty tight here it is and then two bearings from another side like this so this will be the part of the transmission on the uh, mill machine and this thing will stay somewhere over here maybe i will even connect it somehow to the bottom so we'll see um i, I will do some mountain break it for this one why i did five millimeter shaft because this bearing is quite big so it's uh, five to eleven as far as i remember or no the outer dimension of this bearing is uh 16 millimeters so it's 5 to 16 it's the engine bearings they are quite strong uh, i would like to use them but only in case if i found the place for them because as you see they are quite big and uh, probably i will hit this one but i have different sets of five millimeters bearing and the smallest one with the outer dimension of 10 millimeters so I will definitely found the place for the holding this gear. Uh, this gear will be on the bottom of this wheel. So something like over here. Next thing I will do is I will cut out uh, this mountain point completely. So I will remove and uh, unassemble completely the head of the milling machine we'll cut out this one and we'll check that engine fits if engine fits and this one fits somewhere over here then i will move to the next steps and next steps will be the mounting bracket for this one that will be it for now Next time you will see uh, the continue of the modification of Proxon uh, together with the transmission, the uh, uh, upper plate. So, see you next time.